Hey everybody, Viva Le Watts here, and there is a piece of toast hanging off my camera, which could only mean one thing. This is Project Toasty. Hi guys, my name is Ariel, and this is Project Toasty, the place where you can pee standing up if you're a girl, and if you're into that sort of thing, and we also do cool shit together. We asked you guys on Facebook what you wanted this week's episode to be about, and almost everybody said tattoos. And I can understand why, I mean 40% of us have them. Go ahead and click the like button if you have one or want one. You see, most people would like, think this is like a list of my ex-boyfriends, and then once we broke up, you know, I'd have to cross it out. But upon further inspection, this is actually representation of a bucket list. You see, I add a new name every year, and then when I fuck that person, I exit out. Actually, I haven't even met a Sean yet, I just think it would be really hot to fuck a guy named Sean. I know you guys are gonna ask, so the answer is no. Currently, I do not have any tattoos. But did you know that 40% of the people that have tattoos are a part of the LGBT community? Hey! 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 hey. hey. You love it. And while 20% of the people regret the tattoos that they've got... Dude, you got a tattoo! Sweet! <laughs> Dude, you got a tattoo! Sweet! What does it say? If only there were evil people somewhere insidiously committing evil deeds, and it were necessary only to separate them from the rest of us and destroy them. But the line dividing good and evil cuts through the hearts of every human being. And who is willing to destroy his own heart? Sweet! Dude, <laughs> what does mine say? I eat cock meat sandwiches. A good percentage of people actually do love the meaning behind theirs. So for this week's project, imagine that you woke up today and you had no recollection of anything that happened previous to this morning. What is one thing that you'd want tattooed on your body and it can be anywhere you want? <laughs> that would remind you of your past and what you've accomplished. And don't tell us what it means. I like to go on the approaches if we saw you in the street and we just saw your tattoo and was like, huh, I wonder what that means. I just think it's more fun that way. And of course, when you're done, post it to the Project Toasty Facebook page. The link to that is down in the description below. It'll be the first link. And if you don't want your friends and family to see what you're doing over on Project Toasty, that's okay. Just make a second Facebook account and call it Ariel Toasty or Diana Toasty, as one girl has done. Also, a few of you have been asking about the other people commenting on your projects from Project Toasty. And I'm so sorry, I forgot to introduce them to you, but I'm gonna do that now, so here we go. This is Daniel, he's also a YouTuber, he likes video games, he likes wrestling, he lives in North Dakota, which is like the most random state that you can live. This is my friend Semi, she's from Texas, she's a hairstylist, and she's 4'10". She's really little. This is CJ, she lives in Germany, she has a nice rack, and is really good in bed, and I wish I could say that from personal experience, but really I'm just saying to you what she told me to say. And last but not least, this is Nestle, she lives in Maine, and she is studying to be a scientist. Like seriously, she does like experiments and shit. I'm so glad you guys understand because as you know, Project Toasty is not about me, it's about all of us. Which is why I always get excited when you guys comment on each other's stuff. Because it's the whole point, it's about getting to know each other and getting to know yourself and interacting with other people. And as the Project Toasty family continues to grow, which it is every single day, I don't want to half-ass commenting on your projects and miss something really important. But I do promise that I look at every single submission. In fact, this week's project was actually thought of by one of you. Uh, thank you, Jeff. And if you guys have any ideas of something that you'd like to do over here on Project Toasty, send it over to projecttoasty at gmail.com. And now it's time to check out some of your projects from last week. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm just gonna call you OJ, or maybe I'll even call you Orange Juice. I thought this was the most scary, dramatic dream date I've ever read, but I kind of want it. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Angelina Jolie in that Assassin's movie. Hi, Maya! It's nothing, they turned off my heat, and I'm just a little weak on my feet. Trevor, I don't think anyone would find that creepy unless you were, like, sitting outside his house, staring into his window, watching him while he slept. Christina, where the hell is that beach, and take me there now, please. I mean, have you seen what the beaches look like here in Brooklyn? As always, guys, don't forget to like this video and add it to your favorites if you really liked it. If you commented on this video, you have a chance to win a Project Toaster bracelet. And other than that, we will see you guys next Thursday with a brand new episode on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, and that's it. Okay, bye.